Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the Daily Bible Reading for August 14th, 2020. And today we're going to be covering the chapters of Isaiah, um, chapters 9 through 11 today. So I'd like to greet you first, as always, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. And if you have not trusted him as your Savior today, well... Uh, admit you're a sinner and you need a savior, amen, and call upon Jesus and he will wash away all your sin and save your soul, amen. All right, so chapter 9 and verse 1, if you're just joining me, you turn along with me to Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 1 says, Oh, that my head were waters and mine eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of wayfaring men, that I might leave my people and go from them, for they be all adulterers, an assembly of treacherous men, and they bend their tongues like their bow for lies, but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth. For they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, saith the Lord. Mm. Take ye heed, every one of you, or every one his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders, and they will de uh, deceive every one his neighbor and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies, and weary themselves to commit iniquity. Thine uh, habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit they refuse to know me, saith the Lord. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Verse 7. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will melt them and try them, I, yeah, I will melt them and try them, for how shall I do for the daughter of my people? Their tongue is, uh, their tongue is as an arrow shot out. It speaketh deceit. One speaketh peaceably to his neighbor um, with his mouth, uh, but in heart he layeth his weight. Shall I not visit them for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? For the mountains will I take up a weeping and wailing, and for the habitations of the wilderness a lamentation, because they are burned up, so that none can pass through them. Neither can men hear the voice of the cattle, both the fowl of the heaven, heavens and the beasts are fled. They are gone, and I will make Jerusalem heaps, and a den of dragons, and I will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Who is the wise man that may understand this? And who is he that uh, he to whom the mouth of the Lord hath spoken, that he may declare it? For what the land perisheth, and is burned up like a wilderness, that none passeth through. And the Lord saith, Because they have forsaken my law, which I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice, neither walked therein, but have walked after the imagination of their own heart, and after Balaam, which their fathers taught them. Uh, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will feed them, even this people, with wormwood, and give them water of gall to drink. I will scatter them also among the heathen, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, and I will send a sword after them, till I have consumed them. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Consider ye, and call her the morning, uh, the, and, call for, and call for the morning uh, woman, women, that they may come, and send for cunning women, that they may come, and let them make haste, and take up a wailing for us, that our eyes may run down with tears, and our eyelids gush out with waters. 
for a voice of wailing is heard out of Zion. How are we spoiled? We are greatly confounded because we have forsaken the land, because our dwellings have cast us out. Yet hear the word of the Lord, O ye women, and let your ear receive the word of his mouth, and teach your daughters wailing, and every one her neighbor lamentation. For death is come up into our windows, and is entered into our palaces, to cut off the children from without, and the young men from the streets. Speak, thus saith the Lord, even the Carc uh, speak, thus saith the Lord, even the carcasses of men shall f uh, fall as dung upon the open field, and as the uh, handful after the harvest man, and none shall gather them. Hmm. Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised, Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab, and all that are in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For all th uh, these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. Chapter 10 Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen, with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fatten it, uh, or they fasten it, excuse me, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. They are upright as a as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born, but they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Who would not fear thee, O king of nations? For to uh, thee doth it appertain, for as much as among all the wise men of the nations, and in all their kingdoms, there is none like unto thee. But they are altogether brutish and foolish. The stock is a doctrine of vanities. Silver spread into plates is brought from Tarshish, and gold from Euphaz, the work of the workman and the hands of the founder. Blue and purple is their clothing. They are all the work of cunning men. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God, and an everlasting king. At his wrath the earth shall tremble, and the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation. Uh, thus shall ye say unto them, The gods that have not made the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth, and from under these heavens. He hath made the earth by his power, he hath established the world by his wisdom, and hath stretched out the heavens by his uh, discretion. When he uttereth his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens, and, his ca and he causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings, with rain, and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brutish in his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image, for his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity, and the work of errors. In the time of their visitation they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. 
and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Gather up thy wares out of the land, O inhabitant of the fortress. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will sling out the inhabitants of the land at this once, and will distress them, that they may find it so. Woe is me for my hurt! My wound is grievous, but I said, Truly this is a grief, and I must bear it. My tabernacle is spoiled, and all my cords are broken. My children are gone forth of me, and they are not. There is none to stretch forth my tent any more, and to set up my curtains. For the pastors are become brutish, and have not sought the Lord. Therefore they shall not prosper, and all their flocks shall be scattered. Behold, the noise of the uh, bruit is come, and a great commotion out of the north country, to make the cities of Judah desolate, and a den of dragons. O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. O Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the families that call not on thy name. For they have eaten up Jacob, and devoured him, and consumed him, and have made his habitation desolate. Chapter 11 <clears throat> the, word of the, uh, the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say uh, thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and do them according to all which I command you, so shall ye be my people, and I will be your God, that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. Then answered I, and said, So be it, O Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly pro uh, protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early, and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Uh, yet they obeyed not, neither inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah, and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods to serve them, uh, the house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant which I made with their fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. But they shall not save them out of all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of, the city, of thy cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Uh, therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry of prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What hath my beloved to do in mine house, seeing that uh, she hath wrought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is uh, passed from thee? 
Uh, when thou doest evil, then thou rejoicest. The Lord called thy name a green olive tree, fair of um, and of goodly fruit, uh, with the noise of a great tumult. Uh, he hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee, for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger in offering incense unto Baal. And the Lord hath given me knowledge of it, and I know it, that then thou sh uh, showedest me their doings. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter, and uh, knew not that they had dis uh, devised the vices against me, uh, saying, Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, that his name may be no more remembered. But, O Lord of hosts, that uh, judgest righteously, that triest the reins and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I revealed. Uh, revealed my cause. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of the men of uh, Ananoth, that seek thy life, saying, Prophesy not in the name of the Lord, that thou die not by our hand. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. A famine and there shall be no rem remnant of men. I will bring evil upon the men of Ananoth, uh, even the year of their visitation. Mm. And that is the end of our Bible reading for today. And tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll cover chapters, let's see, chapters 12 through 15 tomorrow. And find out what happens next. But Lord's not very happy with uh, his uh, chosen people. So we'll see what happens after that. So I hope you'll come back tomorrow. And also want to encourage you to uh, keep in your own Bible reading and studying and uh, getting the Word of God on your own time also and into some good preaching and Bible teaching. And so um, till then, may the Lord richly bless you and see you all, Lord willing, tomorrow uh, morning for the Baptist Bread Devotional. Amen. So until then, bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.